We'll pretend now he's a musician. All sounds come from a movement of the air, back and forth, like waves. I don't see any waves. See the string move back and forth? I have seen strings and rubber bands move back and forth, but I've never seen a sound wave. Well, you can't really see them, you hear them. If you could see them, they'd look like this. Different kinds of sounds make different kinds of sound waves. A low sound makes a different wave than a high sound. Hey, Rudolph, that's the wrong note. You see, people's voices make sound waves too. When we speak, Air from our lungs moves vocal cords like these in our throats. Hey, Rudolph! This movement makes sound waves and sends them out of our mouths. Hey! Hey! When sound waves reach the ear of another person, they make the drum in his ear move back and forth, and he hears the sound the other person is making. I see. But how do you hear over the telephone? And we're coming to that. When Mr. Man speaks into the telephone, the flow of electricity in the wires makes it possible for the other person to hear what Mr. Man is saying, just as quick as a flash. But how? Well, when he has dialed his friend, and his friend Rudolph answers, the flow of electricity in the wires connects Mr. Man's telephone through the telephone building to his friend's phone. Oh, Rudolph. Mr. Mann's vocal cords make sound waves which go into the mouthpiece of the telephone. These sound waves make the electricity flow stronger and weaker, depending on the sound waves his voice makes. Remember now that the flow of electricity is changing from strong to weak as it comes from Mr. Mann's telephone. These changes work on the receiver very much the way sound works on your eardrum. The electricity makes a little metal plate vibrate. This vibration makes sound waves come out of the receiver. And so, in a split second, the person on the other end of the line hears the same words Mr. Man is speaking. And what he hears sounds just like Mr. Man's voice. <laughs>